Good morning and welcome to the Mass for a short prayer service. Today is the third Sunday of Easter and the sixth Sunday since the beginning of the lockdown. Let us pray. Bless your name, Lord Jesus. With open hearts, minds and spirits, we gather to praise you, grateful that your arms are thrown so wide in welcome. Amen. I invite you now to read in the book of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 14a, then 36 to 41. Sisters and brothers, I suggest that you meditate for a few moments on this passage from the Acts of the Apostles by looking at this portrait by the 17th century Italian painter Pier Francesco Mola. We are not sure, but many people have seen in this portrait Peter the Apostle, and when I discovered it, I thought that it corresponded perfectly to what I imagine of Peter's personality. After the events of Pentecost, the Apostle addresses people in Jerusalem in a touching and prophetic speech about Jesus. His audience is moved. These people now want to belong to the movement. What particularly catches my attention in this passage today is the fact that the disciples and Peter are still in shock at the death of Jesus and his new presence among them. Peter and the disciples demonstrate a quality that is extremely valuable for individuals and communities, resilience. Disaster has happened. There is no turning back. Moreover, something new has happened. The resurrection of Jesus, the resurrection itself as a miracle from God offered to believers. I believe that this story from the book of the Acts of the Apostles may well speak to us this morning. In the coronavirus crisis, we cannot go back. Life goes on. More than that, we rise with Christ. Our church resurrects. It will grow again. Soon we will have to show the same resilience as the Apostle Peter and the disciples and continue our mission, for this is what Christ is calling us to. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, when things happen that we find hard to deal with, when our head goes down and our eyes see no further than our own feet, help us to be honest with you, even if it's through tears or rage, and ride the storm with us. Help us to trust you're there, even when we cannot see or feel you close, then gently tilt our faces to look into yours, to find there limitless compassion, endless understanding and patience and the courage we need to begin again. And together we say the Lord's Prayer. Receive the blessing from God. Go now, knowing God goes with you. Go to find God in surprising places, at surprising times. Go to journey together with all God's people and to discover the plans God has for you 
and for this world. The blessing of our ever-present God, the ever-living Son, the ever-active Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you, now and always. Amen.